Hi loves, welcome back to our channel. This is Jerry, and for today's video, I'm going to be giving my Nintendo Switch Lite a cute cinema roll themed makeover. Let's go ahead and get started. So for today's customization, I'm really excited because I have a new skin here that I've never tried before. This one is from a brand called Beluga Design, and they sent it in this really pretty um, packaging. I wanted to show you guys the little Sakura. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it and show you guys what I got. So in the package came this little note that says at Dreamy Craft Shop, thank you, Game Beluga Design, Julia and Ivy, which I thought was really sweet of them. Thank you, Julia and Ivy. And here's a little more about Beluga Design and a coupon code. They also sent these um, little paw grips and I'll put up a picture of the listing of the skins that I got. To show you guys, um, these actually come with these, which I thought was really cute. I love these purple ones. I don't have purple ones, so I'm excited about that. And then they also sent this little pack of super cute stickers. They're like sticker flakes. I thought that was really sweet of them. And then these are the two skins that I got. I got um, my Melody themed one for my Switch OLED, and I'll show you guys this one when I do that makeover soon. And for today's makeover, I chose this cinema roll one. It's so cute. It's like a cinema roll in the clouds with the um, unicorn design. I'm going to take it out to show you guys. I love this little envelope that it comes in. It's so cute and it's easy to like um, put it back if you're going to use it for later or if you got a few of them like I did. It's nice to have um, a cute pouch like that. So inside the envelope comes a little cloth and these come with all the skins. This is for cleaning the screen and sorry <laughs> and here is the skin. This is for the um, front of the device I believe and then here's for the back. So I'm really excited to try these on. And then I don't know if you can tell but they kind of have like a texture and I really like that. That's different from any skin that I've used before. I think it'll give like a nice kind of grip when you're holding the device. I'm so excited about these. Okay, so I'm going to be customizing my twin sister Kitty's Switch Lite because I recently did mine in the like Kuromi theme and I want to keep it that way. Hers I haven't customized in a long while, so she gave it to me the other day. It's in this Melody pouch. So let's see how she has it. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like she has, her screen needs to be cleaned and her device needs to be cleaned, but that's okay because we're going to change her skin too. She has a like Dreamy Craft Shop rhinestone case. Oh, it's a whip rhinestone case that I made for her. So we're going to remove the case. We're going to remove the skin and clean the screen and clean the device. You can see her skin is like old and she had stickers on it that she peeled up and it peeled the skin and stuff. So she has even old stickers on there. It's dirty. She uses it a lot. So we're going to take off this skin. Alright, so now all of the pieces are off. You can see like the tiniest bit of residue like there and around there and the screen is pretty um, dirty. So I'm going to go ahead and clean the whole device with a wipe and I'll be right back. Now that the um, device is clean and dry, I'm going to use that cloth that they sent and I'm going to um, clean the screen. And before I put um, the skin on, I actually want to put a screen protector on this one. So let's do that first. So I'm going to be using a glass premium tempered screen protector from Extreme Rate in the color cherry blossom pink 
This is a two pack on Amazon for $14.59. And I'm about to take it out of the package. So this is how it looks. And like I mentioned, I chose Cherry Blossom Pink. And it's this really pretty soft light pink color. And it covers, the colored part covers this um, gray glass area. So it looks like this. I think it's really cute. So let's go ahead and apply this. The kit comes with these screen protector accessories. It looks like we get two wipes, one wet and then one dry, which I'm not going to use because I already um, cleaned it with the wet wipes and then with my own dry wipe. But this here is a sticker um, dust absorber, which I'm going to use. I'll show you how now. You just peel the sticker from the backing and then you use it to remove any small dust like that. You just stick it on the screen and pull up and it's really really sticky so as you can see that got all the dust off of the screen now we can go ahead and apply the protector we're just gonna peel this back piece here and then stick it down And since I like this placement, I'm going to take this cloth and kind of just press it in. And this is how it looks. I think it looks really good. I actually love it. I don't know why I've never put one of these on before. I love that little touch of color. So let's go ahead and put the skin on now. This one looks like it should be really easy because it's just a couple of pieces. Um, I'm going to try the back first because it looks the easiest. I wonder if I'm going to need a heat gun for this. I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and get the heat gun out and connect it just in case we need it. Alright, I've got my craft gun. It's just a crafting heat gun in case we need to smooth out any edges. So here's the skin. I'm just going to go ahead and peel it up and try to put it down. Alright, so let's try to align this. I like to usually align it with holes. So these two little cutout holes, I'm going to try to align with the vents here. I might change the camera angle. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Like it looks pretty lined up here and here. I'm going to lift it up. Like here, it's looking good. So I think I'm just gonna start, um, I'm gonna take that cloth and just kind of rub it down, rub it in. Okay, so it's on there. With this one, we didn't need the heat. It does have these kind of perforations, I guess, that made it easier to wrap around so you didn't need the heat to shrink it around the edge. It doesn't cover as much as other skins, like you're still going to see a lot of gray through it, but it's really pretty and I like it. And like I said, that texture, I just kind of like that. It is a little see-through like you can see, but I still think it's really beautiful. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do the front part. You have to be careful. I think I already ripped mine here, unfortunately. So that lets you know, just be very careful when you're peeling this one up. All right, so this one is one piece like this too. And you, this one's like a little wobbly, so you wanna make sure that you're aligning it as straight as possible. And I'm going to try to make sure that all the buttons are lined up. And that's what I'm gonna use as my guide.
Okay, now I think I have it like positioned where I like. I like how it's placed around the buttons. I think it looks good. So I'm gonna take this silicone nail tool and I'm going to use the silicone edge and just kind of get into these small spaces and rub the skin down. The edges like here, here and here, I'm just gonna go ahead and fold over and rub in with my fingers. Alright, so this is how the front part looks. You see Cinnamarole and the unicorn, and you can see my pink screen protector. And then you turn it around, and this is the back. And I did want to mention that it does have this part here, so if you didn't have a colored screen protector, you can just peel this part off and put it in the border. Or if you didn't want to show your screen protector, you could just put it in the border again. Alright, so now that we've got the skin on, I think the next thing we should do is put little grips on the thumbsticks. I have this cinnamon roll container where I keep all of my thumb grips, so let's go through this and maybe pick a couple of options. So I'm thinking something blue and white or blue and pink. I have these, but they seem a little more like blue-green. Kirby, so cute. These could be cute because they're rainbow and it kind of brings out the rainbow in the background of the skin. Alright, so here are some options that I picked out. We could do like a blue paw. This one is like clear jelly pink. This one is just pink and white. This is like the jelly. It goes with this one. And then that's that one's pair. And then blue and white, white and blue, white and pink, and then rainbow. So these are our options. Like I said, the rainbow looks really cute, like it brings out the rainbow. But I kind of want to bring out more the pink and the border, so I'm thinking of using something like pink and white, like maybe those two, or maybe these, or maybe even the um, jelly ones. Oh, I'm liking the jelly, so I'm thinking it's between the jelly or these white and pink. I think I'm going to go with the white and pink. Oh, but I forgot that we actually got some with our skin. So these are the ones that came with the skin. I think the peachy and the purple ah, don't really go with this skin, but these blue and white ones do. They're really pretty. Normally, I would definitely pick the blue and white, but since I'm trying to... um bring that pink in, I think I'm gonna go with these two. But I will go ahead and put these away in my box. All right, so I'm gonna use the trick that you guys have always taught me, of course. You get the little thumb grip, you pull these back, and like push it inside out like this, and place it on top. And I'm gonna do that to the other side. Place it on top. And then we just fold the sides down like that and like that and then this is how the two paws look I love it I chose the white one for this side because it's kind of cutting into cinnamon roll and the white goes good with him and then the pink over here to bring out all the colors and I think it matches this um, extreme rate screen protector really well this is so cute already I love it all right what should we do next I think next we should pick out um, a case, like a protective case for it. Okay, so I wasn't sure if I would want to show you guys blue or pink cases, so I got both options of both, depending on what color you wanted to bring out in the design. So I have these, hold on, these hard cases here that I'll link for you guys below. These are really nice because they have a little grip in the back, so when you're playing they're more like comfortable, more ergonomic. And this is like the um, pink color, and I think it does match pretty well. And this is the blue color, and these are snap-on, so to put these on, you're going to grab your device, place it in the back, and then grab the front piece, 
and click it all the way across so that it snaps into place these are really beautiful really protective um like i said ergonomic and comfortable and you can see the pink in the front of your screen and i don't know i just think these are really beautiful the only downfall is that if you do have like a screen like this with um a picture on it i've never really had a switch light one with a picture on it like this but um then you'll co you'd cover it with this so if you were doing um a cinema roll theme and you had a cinema roll skin then you probably don't want to use these but i do have um these really nice options from geek share they're like so plush and soft and pretty on the inside they're really high quality and these are just snap-on back cases so it would cover your back design but you would still be able to see the front design so it snaps in like that very easily and you can still see the front design really cute but in the back it would be like blue or pink whichever color you chose they have a few different color options and they're like just really soft touch and really luxurious and pretty and protect your device at the same time so these are a cute option but since i really love this um cinema roll skin i'm gonna go with a transparent option so of course you could always use a transparent two-piece case like this if you want to be really protective but i think today i'm gonna go with this case here which is um a soft silicone um protective case and this one has glitter in it so um you would snap it in the same way as the other two i just showed except you gotta kind of pull it over like that and it has like a rim around it and you can see your front design and when you turn it around you can still see the back design too but also a little bit of glitter which shines really nice under like flash and false lighting um yeah so i'm gonna go with this one because like i said i really like this new skin and i want to see it as much as possible so i'm gonna pick this um let's see i want to do charms now i believe so i put out these um charm options i have a lot of um little options for um charms to hang on my device and if you're wondering how i put the charms on my device i always want to use one of these it's a clear dust plug and i went i got the kind with a hole at the top and i put an o-ring through the hole and then i tied my own charm on there and these little clear dust plugs you can find them on like ebay amazon etsy stuff like that just google clear dust plug or black or just any color they come in lots of colors just dust plug with a hole at the top and they're meant to um keep dust out of your earphone jack so you just press it in there and it keeps your earphone jack like clean no dust falls in there while you're not using it but i like to use mine for my charms so i'll stick that in there put the hoop and then i hang my charms from it like this and that's how I hang charms on my switches and my devices that don't have like a specific spot to put a charm. So what I'm going to do now is pick out the charms that I want to put on my switch um, cinema roll theme. So I pulled out all of these that are kind of blue or cinema roll themed. I have this blue lollipop from my website and it's like a star lollipop or wand or however you want to see it. This one has a moon, this one a heart. And this is like a heart shaped one and I have these on my website in like tons of different colors if you want to check it out and then I also have this blue moon I have it on my website in white pink blue and purple but I pulled this blue one because I thought it has like a really dreamy feel to it and I felt it would go good with this theme and then I also got these two from my website this is just like a flat cinema roll face which is really cute and I do have other Sanrio characters and then this one I um it's like a handmade resin shaker piece that I made and I um painted Cinderella's face in there and I put these little pieces with the liquid in there that move around so I have this one and this one and then this satin bow charm that's also for my website um this one I did with the blue satin ribbon and blue and white beads and it has a little jingle bell on it what other options do I have I also I like to put little plushies on everything 
So I got this little cinnamon roll plush that we could also use as an option. And then I got this really cute starry sky themed cinnamon roll um, charm that I got the other day. It's just so cute. Cinnamon roll has angel wings and stuff. So it kind of goes with this like cloudy sky theme too. And it's so glittery and pretty. Um, then I have these, which I think will go better on the carrying case. So, um, wow, let's see. Okay, I'm definitely going to put the plush. I always put a plush. So the way that I do it is I just open up the um, O-ring and then take the little bear out or stuffed plushie. Like that. And then I'll take a blue, um, like, um, what do you call these? <laughs> strap, like cell phone strap with a lobster clasp and attach it like this. You can find these on the same, like all over the internet. Just look up um, phone strap or something like that. But if you buy charms on my website and you want um, like a free dust plug or one of these colored straps, just let me know in your notes. I have tons of them. I can give you um, dust plugs or these straps in any color. I have them in like a big box of them in tons of colors. I don't mind giving you guys some. So this is how I'm gonna attach the plushie. And then I think I wanna do the shaker one this time cause it's really fun. So, so far these two. And then I wanna do a bow and bell cause I like the jingle and I just, I like the satin. So I'm gonna do that. And what else? I'm gonna do a star. Yeah, I really want to do a star, so I'm going to do a star, which is actually already on there, so it's perfect. And I think I might just keep it to these four. Let's go ahead and attach them and see how we feel. So this kind is really easy to attach. You just open the lobster clasp and stick it through the o-ring like that. Easy. And then this kind is pretty easy too. You just take the strap like that and you stick it through the um, hoop or o-ring then you open it and you stick the charm through it slowly 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 now hold on to this so that it doesn't get like all tangled and you just kind of pull through pull everything including the charm through and when you pull it kind of makes a knot like that Now I'm going to do the same thing with this one, but since the um, teddy bear is kind of too big to fit through the strap, I'm going to unclip it and just attach the strap and then attach the um, plushie. Now we can attach the plush like that. Everyone's attached. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the earphone jack and then arrange these and decide if this is enough. <laughs> so this is how it looks with the ones I chose. I do think it's enough. It looks really cute. I might cut this little tag off because I'm not really feeling it. So I think I'm gonna cut the tag off. But other than that, like, oh, it looks so cute. Super like blue, super starry sky clouds like pretty beautiful theme i'm like so obsessed with it so far i got my cute little cinema roll scissors here and i'm gonna use them to cut this tag off okay so now for the carrying case i did have a few different options and i should have brought them to show you guys but like to show you guys what you guys could do i don't know why i didn't bring them i usually keep them at my shop but um i just brought the option that i chose which is this new cinema roll gadget case i really wanted to use this is not meant for switch lights but it does fit them this is um a gadget case and as you can see oh it says cinema roll with a smile just for you well as you can see in this photo it's meant for your like gadgets like your phone your cords um a mouse stuff like that and that's how i use my karomi one but this one i really wanted to use it for this customization i love the blue and the pink those are my twin sister's two favorite colors and so yeah she really had to have this and i really wanted to do this theme for her so i wanted to choose this one 
it has this cute little handle here for carrying it and then on the inside it has a ton of little pouches so i'm going to unplug the charms and then this cute case fits in here. I mean, cute switch fits in here like this, as you can see. And then the in here, you can put anything you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the charms in here. And I think I'm gonna put them in here so you can see them because they're so cute. Like that, so it fits in there and you can see where it is and it's super cute. And then I have this little game card case that I used for, um, when I did a cinema roll switch customization, because I have done, I think, two switch customizations that had cinema roll in them, but this is my first time doing switch light. So anyway, it's just a clear um, game card case, and you can hold two games here and two games here. And I like to just put little cute stickers on mine. I already put these cute stickers, these little circus theme ones, but I also have these. I'm thinking of putting a couple of these on there. Here's the sheet. And these stickers I have on my website if you want to buy some. But I think these would be cute on there too. So on this side, I'm going to put like the skateboard one because I like skateboarding. It's fun and it's just kind of kind of cute. So I'm going to put the skateboard one, maybe this little bakery one because I love sweets and baked goods. And then maybe this one because it's just so cute. So cute. Now it's like cinema roll on both sides. And so you can put your games in here and then put this in here. And I like that it's clear because you can see what games you have. So I'm going to go ahead and close that and show you how it looks. It looks like this, so cute, so precious. Let's go ahead and cut this tag off. And then there's even extra room in here if you wanted to put anything else. You can put like your headphones or whatever you want in there or if you have stickers, put your little extra stickers in there. A pen, pencils, like if you um, like to take notes when you're playing games, you could put like a little notepad and pen in here. So I think this is really useful and cute and it goes really nice with the switch light. Also, it's like padded, so it'll keep your switch light safe. And I actually feel like I wanna put charms on this too. And I just realized that it's gold accents. I was going to use this one, but since it has like really dark silver accents, I think I'm just gonna put it aside. I got this one on Amazon and it was only like $5. I'll link it for you guys. But I did get this one from the Sanrio store the other day. It's like the Cinema World 2022. So I could stick this one on here because it doesn't have any like silver hardware. But I just realized that this one, the Starry Sky one is gold. So it would probably go with it perfectly. So I'm going to take it out and stick it there. And then I realized that I have this little cute like Easter thing I got a few years ago. And it's this cute little casing that I keep on my desk. But if you open it, how do I open it? I'll turn it. There's actually a cute little charm in there with a gold ball chain. See how cute? It's fuzzy and adorable and it has the tiniest little gold ball chain ever. And I'm wondering if I put this on there too, would these two look really cute on there? So let's go ahead and try it. Okay, so I actually think it turned out so cute. This is the little starry sky charm on there. And this is the little um, felt bunny. I actually put it around the um, ribbon. So that way you could pull the um, zipper like that, like a zipper pull. And I think they're so cute together. What do you guys think? I hope you guys like it too. So I'm gonna leave those on, to on there. I think Kitty's gonna like it, which is the most important. I think she's going to be super happy with this. So actually, before we go, I'm going to take the switch out and show you guys some options for um, if you're going to like display your switch or just kind of have it out. So first option is this acrylic stand holder from that like same Cinema Roll Starry Night series. And you can put it in like this. I think you guys told me if you put it in this way, it's more sturdy or you could also 
hold on pull it out like this and stick it in here like that and it says cinema roll i wish upon the stars so bright as i snuggle in and say good night and i think it's so cute and it matches the theme that we um we're going for with this switch <laughs> All right, so you can have it on the stand like that. You see there's the space. You can keep this on your desk and it looks so cute even when your switch is not there. And then when you're not using your switch, you can put it down like this and you see cinema roll peeking through the top and it just would look so cute on any um, desk or dresser or anything like that. And if you wanted, you could also just put it down like this and you could see the back and that is so cute too. So that's a cute way to um, store your switch light or display it. Or even if you wanted to play it with a controller, this is uh, slightly angled as you can see. So it tilts your screen up and you could play with your controller a lot more easily this way. I think it's so cute. And then for another option, let me go ahead and move this. I have this one here, which I got the other day um, in Sanrio, Pasadena. And you can see um, I did like a vlog when I went to that store if you want to check out my review on the store and where it is and all that. Let me open this. So this one is actually, I believe it's supposed to be a cell phone stand and I think it was $10, $10 or $12, something like that. Um, and as you can see, there are different steps that you can use depending on how angled or not you want it to be. You can put it here and it's... Um, more upright or you can put it more back here and it's slanted more and it has this cute little cinema roll image cinema roll with a smile just for you and this is a little milk right there at the top and so you'd put it down like that and then you can grab your device and place it in here like this and you can kind of keep that on your desk if you wanted or a dresser or anywhere and then again if you wanted to play a game it would be really easy because this is nice and angled for you and you can um take out your controller and play a game very easily like this that's all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this customization please don't forget to like and subscribe love you guys so much see you in the next one kitty and jerry